Hello everyone, welcome to update 1.53 Firestorm. Several new vehicles with multiple rocket launcher systems have been added to the game all at once. The first batch of British tanks has arrived. The developers have updated the game engine, added two new maps and added much more besides, but all in good time. War Thunder is moving up to the latest version of its game engine, Dagor 4.0, which brings new graphical capabilities and technologies to the game. This includes physics-based rendering, realistic water visualization and large building destruction physics. Vehicles and background objects now look more natural. Be sure to check out the water. The NVIDIA WaveWorks technology provides means to create any water surface, from a weak ripple on a lake to giant ocean waves. Foamy white caps, sunflex, surf, the water can look entirely different depending on its type, the weather, the lightning and other features of the map. The destructible environment feature is also having an update. The combat on urban maps will change noticeably. Now it's easy to destroy a house and make yourself a new path. The first three locations this new feature will be available on are the already well-known Berlin and the absolutely new advance to the Rhine and Stalingrad. Oh yeah, welcome to the new maps. Our pilots have already fought in the winter skies of Stalingrad. Now tankers too will fight for the city, or more precisely for the Stalingrad tractor factory. The entire factory complex will be their battleground. There will be plenty of room to spread out your forces. A giant winter map created using authentic photographs, new objects such as highly detailed tractors that the factory produced before the war, and trains with rolling stock still standing on the tracks awaiting dispatch. The developers carefully recreated everything to the last detail. Another stunning urban location. In the advance to the Rhine, history bustles you familiar details. After all, it was the site of the famous tank duel at Cologne Cathedral that inspired the developers to create this in-game map. The new destruction system used with the new map will make it even better to play. Crush, smash, destroy entire blocks in this already mauled city to flank your opponent or get to where you need to go faster. Dynamic sniper battles in urban conditions are the best way to train your mastery of the game. Now let's see what's new in the hangar. The British development tree has received a new tab, Army. The first to honor the crown on the new front will do battle in unique vehicles with names, renowned in history. Let's meet them. The A13 Mark II with a pleak armor. The vehicle that began the entire line of British cruiser tanks. It has an excellent rate of fire, wonderful mobility, and this tank was the first to use the Christie suspension system, the same that was used on the Soviet BT tanks and even the T-34. The A-43 Black Prince. Its enemies will have to learn the Imperial measurement system to realize that 17 pounds is no joke. The Prince is one of the most modern Churchill modifications as excellently armored, armed and simply brutal. Perfection has no limit. Why not install a 17-pounder in the turret of a proven warrior? Consider it done. The Sherman Firefly Trishinitz of the 2nd Tank Division Warsaw. This vehicle turned out to be so successful that it remained a dangerous opponent to the German tanks until the very end of the war. Haven't learned what 17 pounds means yet? Then let's nail it and find out. The M10 Achilles of the British 7 Armored Division has all the pluses of a fast and mobile SPG in combination with what is now your favorite weapon. Happy hunting! Impressed? Well, the USA, Germany and the USSR don't plan to let Britain get away with all this power. The M26 Pershing with an unguided rocket launcher system. 44 rocket shells in combination with the M3 cannon allow this vehicle to overwhelm its enemy with a rain of fire, and the clever design of the launcher doesn't expose the tank either. Do you rely more on tactics? Then your choice is the T92 in the US light tank branch. Low dimensions, low profile and a very impressive mobility. For the first time, light tanks would take their place in high-ranked battles. With even just one such vehicle, the team will quickly occupy key points on the battleground. For connoisseurs of powerful weapons, the experimental T-25 medium tank has become available. It has the now familiar 90mm M3 cannon and decent armor for rank 3. Germany's tank hangars are also set to expand. The Panzer Warfare 42 will bring its rocket volley to the table as the first multiple rocket launcher system in Germany's ground vehicle tree. A vehicle for those who know the value of a direct hit, it can launch 10 158mm rockets in a single volley. The Jagdpanzer 4.5 or the Kanonen Jagdpanzer. 
The Germans always loved giving their tanks difficult to pronounce names. While you're trying to say its name, this new German SPG will already be at your rear. It has maximum speed of 70 km an hour, and its weapon, stuck with post-war ammunition, will make even the most heavily armored opponents sweat. The number of explosions in War Thunder's battlefields will grow even bigger. The USSR isn't about to lag behind the competition either. The Soviets first, and yet another rocket tank, the BM-824, the legendary Katusha self-propelled rocket launcher system mounted on a compact T-60 chassis, carrying 24 82mm rockets, and players will have to deal with this warby response to autocannons at as early as rank 1. Another new vehicle in the Soviet tank line is the PT-76. This is the first amphibious tank in the game. The PT-76's powerful heat shell can send any opponent back to the hangar. Now, onto the aircraft. USSR-3 got its own flying fortress, PE-8, has great defensive armament and up to 5 tons of bomb load. Another new aircraft in the Soviet tree is the Yak-9B, also capable of carrying bombs. Fans of Japanese Imperial Navy aircraft will be happy to see a new naval fighter, Mitsubishi A7M1. Germany got two Dornier 17Z modifications and BF109Es. US Air Force received two new naval bombers, SB2C4 and TBD Devastator. And those who are fond of two-engine lighting fighters should be happy with four new modifications of this legendary aircraft. Fans of British vehicles got a new jet fighter, Hawker Hunter. It joined the tree so that Royal Air Force in the game may be on par with such titans as the MiG or the Sabre. Now, let's return to the hangar. The first thing worth noting is the redeveloped crew skill window. Distributing experience points has never been easier. There are many more changes we have included in this update. Try out the new Firestorm update to see it all for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, visit the War Thunder site, the forums, and War Thunder Live, and of course, our social network pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Good hunting!